stricter import regulations, dealing with higher costs and inflation and the lack of electricity. A Singaporean who works in Sri Lanka makes do with changes amid an unprecedented economic crisis that has sparked huge protests and seen its president in Sri Lanka quit after fleeing the country. Since current conditions, Sri Lanka has imposed uh, very strict requirements for imported items. We do have difficulties in uh, bringing in all these items. Uh, nevertheless, we are working with government bodies, Sri Lankan local government bodies, to assist us wherever possible. But and at the same time, also for all these some materials that we we required, we we choose an alternative items like we go for local source and uh, local products. Mr. Mohammad says that his company plans to stay and use Sri Lanka as its base to reach out to other countries in the region. Inflation and higher fuel prices have, however, forced him and others to change the way they live and commute. Basically, now it's a uh, situation is a bit more calmer and uh, people have start to come out to work and do their normal activities. So basically for us is that now transportation is a bit difficult. The only way is uh, it's uh, whether we are walking to work or taking a bicycle. The current inflation goes up more than 54%, I believe, and, and uh, food has been expensive. Uh, rice has tripled and maybe go up to four times to five times. Every day we experiencing uh, about between four to six hours of power cut. Uh, that's normal here. So during that period, basically it's just like a ghost town. But at the end of the day, it's it's like uh, we are trying to be get better uh, in terms of the normal life, and people are uh, start to you know open up, looking at other alternative uh, local product, local supplies to you know adjust to their their new living condition.